Hope you are having a great year, preparing for Christmas. If you haven't checked already, check it out. One of my previous videos on objects you can see in the sky. Time for part two to check some of the best objects that you can find in the autumn and winter skies. First, obviously the best of the best, really amazing. Even if you just have a pair of binoculars, you can check it out. So-called the Orion Nebula. It's absolutely amazing. Especially in the 12 inch, you can literally see a little bit of a color just like the pictures that you're seeing here. It's an emission nebula. It's where new stars are born. It's about 25 light years across and it's very near about 1250 light years away. Surprise, surprise, you will find it in the Orion constellation. You look at the three stars, go just a little bit below and you will be able to see. You can even, even see it a little bit with naked eyes. Just a hint of nebulosity. Next one, very famous one, so-called the Beehive Cluster. Obviously, it looks like a beehive, lots of small stars. I really like it because I can just go on the balcony and even see it with my binoculars. I don't need to pick the telescope up. So again, you can observe it easily with small, with small telescopes and binoculars. It does look like a swarm bees, surprise, <laughs> and spans about 32 light years across. It's about 1,600 light years away from Earth pretty near, so that's why it looks so uh, amazing. Next is a pack of globular clusters that you can see uh, during autumn and winter. Obviously, it's not exactly like M13, but M13 you cannot see during the winter very well. These are really nice globular clusters, M3 and M5. You can find them easily in, in the map next to these constellations. M3, it's quite big, 105, 150 light years across, similar to M13 in the Heracross constellation. M5 is slightly smaller, 130 light years across, but they looks absolutely amazing. Next one is an amazing galaxy called the Andromeda Galaxy. It's the nearest galaxy to our own, just 2.6 uh, million, uh, 2.3 million light years away, very, very close. It's like nothing compared uh, to the size of the universe. Andromeda and Milky Way will one day collide, but there won't be any fireworks. The stars will just intermingle with each other. It's 250,000 light years across, so it's two to three times the size of our own galaxy. What I can recommend is observing it with a nice 30 meter 30 millimeter 2 inch eyepiece will fill the entire field of view. You can see a couple of other galaxies around it. It's absolutely amazing. It's the best, one of the best objects you can see. Even with the binoculars, you can see it a little bit. Next one is the Pleiades. <clears throat> I'm sure you have seen the Pleiades. This is what they look like. You can easily see them with your naked eyes if you use small pack of binoculars, they look absolutely amazing. And obviously, if you use a telescope, they will look absolutely stunning in the big 30 millimeter, two inch eyepiece. It's really, really amazing. They are also called the Seven Sisters. One of the old names is Soraya. They stretch, stretch rightly eight light years across and are about 400 light years away. So very near, and that's why they look so amazing. On a very clear night, you may even see a little bit of nebulosity, just like in the pictures. Really, really one of the best objects that I observe all the time. Pretty much every single time I'm out there observing, I check the play out with any kind of plan. Next is a really interesting galaxy, M104, also called the Sombrero Galaxy. Again, you can easily find it based on this map around here. It really does look like a hat, so that's why it's called a sombrero. It looks like a sombrero, literally, so you will be able to easily see it, especially in a big telescope, it looks, again, absolutely amazing. The dust lane is a hotbed of star formation. It's quite large, it's 30 to 35,000 light years across. 
about 30% the size for Milky Way and it's about 29 million light years away from us. And I do have one bonus object for those of you that have lost it so far. If you're feeling really advanced, really able, experienced so far, I can recommend the so-called intergalactic wanderer. Keep in mind it's a very dim object. A little bit tough to find but once you find it it's very rewarding because it's very very far it has a diameter of about 140 light years it's actually quite big as big as m13 but it's very very far it's about 300,000 light years away from the milky way it's like almost three times more distant than the size of our galaxy. That's why it's called Intergalactic Wanderer, because they thought it's moving throughout uh, the intergalactic space. Thank you for joining the second part of this video. Again, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like. I'll be checking a lot more videos in the future. And let's enjoy the night sky together. Over and out. Bye. And this is a great book, really, make sure to buy it. Nothing like reading a good book instead of these go-tos and applications and stellariums and so on.